Aloha everyone, this is Dr. Beth Ann. I am an intuition guide and I teach others on intuitive living and how to embody your intuition. So we're talking about intuitive development for the month of October and today I want to speak to the question of, but I'm listening to my intuition and it still doesn't feel clear. I don't have clarity and what might be going on um, when that's happening for us, when we're trying to make space to listen, when we are dropping in and we still don't see what we need to see. That can be really frustrating, I totally get it. So the first thing that we need to do is address the myth that we're meant to know. <laughs> It sounds so obvious when I say it, um, but there is often this misconception that when it comes to intuitive psychic information that we know things before it happens. And so if we didn't know something before it happened, or we are not able to access clarity that we're somehow doing it wrong, and that's not really the way that it works. I can only speak for myself, but I can say, that I have always operated from a space of love with my intuitive gifts and believing that whether I'm trying to interpret something for myself or for somebody else, that spirit will give myself or them what they need to know in that given moment because we're not meant to know everything. That's part of why we're here as a soul, is to figure it out and to experiment and to um, like, kind of like we're all little kids on the playground, to learn like, well, what happens if I go down the slide backwards? And what happens if I swing on this swing and jump off and, oh, ouch, I hurt my foot. I'm not gonna do that again. You know, I mean, we are here to experiment and to play and that is how we have our growth. So there's no perfect people, there's no perfect paths, there's no perfect all knowing and sometimes the timing's just not there and we're just not meant to know sometimes even if I'm doing a session for somebody and I usually um, can do a pretty good job at pulling in some clarity for them you know I might see something a seed a thread and not be able to see everything around it and so I might say to them you know there's there's something about your attachment to this person but I can't quite see what it is and my assumption with that is not that I'm a bad intuitive it's that it's not that was all I was supposed to tell the person, that now they're going to live that out and figure that out and that they need to have their own epiphanies and insights and clarity surrounding that so they can integrate it. You know, I love doing readings, but if we're not integrating it and having our own self-discovery, then we can go have all the intuitive information in the world and it doesn't do any good because we're not embodying it. We're not taking it into our being. We're not letting it change us. So sometimes the timing's not there and we're just not meant to know. Number two um, of reasons why sometimes we don't know is we have an attachment to what we want to hear. So this happens in particular when we are working with our own intuitive process. And if we are asking a question about something in our life, especially something that we have a lot of energy around, um, your career, a relationship that you're really attached to, a very stressful event in your life, sometimes we feel like we do not have clarity surrounding that and all we want is to have that like breakthrough moment, have that intuitive hit where we say, yes, this was the missing piece, like this is what I needed to know. And what I've often found is that what is getting in the way of us really listening to our intuition is the fact that we're attached to the fact that we think we need that breakthrough piece. We think we need that clarity. We think the information is going to come in in a certain way, which leads me to my third point, and that is we think it will look different than it does. We attach to how it's going to look, and so we're expecting it to come in that form, so we're not paying attention to what shows up. Now, going back to what I said in number one is that I believe spirit gives us what we need to know at any given moment to just fully support our soul's unfolding. Then that means that we might say, 
help me understand what I need to know about this relationship and maybe we've really been struggling you know maybe maybe we're in a space of should I stay or should I go and that's what we're really hoping will come in this sort of definitive answer this all-knowing of what's the best right choice to make and we feel it with clarity and we start moving forward from there with intent and clarity of purpose and we're so focused on getting that and it's not coming through and so we just keep spinning our wheels and we just keep getting more clouded and more confused and more I don't know what to do with this but maybe information did come in maybe if we could have released that expectation that we needed a definitive answer and just like dropped into our heart space and listened maybe our heart would have told us intuitively it's not time to know yet or for now just keep breathing through it or um, it's coming but not not for a while longer or maybe our heart says you already know everything you need to know and you're not listening and we realize we've been ignoring the signs in our own wisdom you know there could be a million responses but sometimes the information is coming in in different way and sometimes it's just what we need for that moment it's not always the big picture laid out for us so we can perfectly move through it because that would really interfere with our right to be on the playground and to figure it out for ourselves um, spirit isn't like the adult when a child come in comes in when it, maybe a child is like if they're finger painting for the first time how would it feel for the parent to come in and say you're doing it all wrong you know maybe the parents like a master watercolorer you can't even use your fingers you have to hold the brush and you have to you know do it this way and you have to do it this way what would that do to that child who was having fun experimenting finger painting maybe that child is going to go on to see I really like paint and decide on their own they want to pick up a paintbrush or that they don't like paint but that they're still drawn to art and they want to learn to draw and um, like spirit is not going to be that parent who interferes with our process and does it for us you know it might feel easier but we're not here to have that happen we're here to trust ourselves and to learn to grow into who we become and to learn how to finger paint and learn if we like it or not and if we don't like it where do we go from there and if we do like it what does it develop into that's what we're here for so we're only given what we need to know at any given point in time and that is why sometimes we don't have clarity but if we do release expectation and drop inside and listen we will find that what is waiting within us within our heart is really the interface of how we hear our intuition you want to know your intuition put your hand in your heart close your eyes and listen this is the quickest way to make space to listen and it will give us what we need to know in that given moment Thank you so much for joining me here. If you enjoy my content on intuition development, feel free to subscribe and you can find out more about me, who I am and what I offer on my website, bethannkw.com. Aloha and light to you.